Hi there guys, and here is part 16 of our R2D2 tutorial here in Blender. So we're coming along pretty good. We've now got our legs, our feet are separate objects, and we've begun working on some of the details of the feet, but we just want to finish those off in this tutorial if we can. Um, so if we take a look at our reference image, you'll see there's some details here on the feet that we need to add in. I'm going to start with this pretty simple part here which is where these um, electronic pipes or hydraulic pipes or whatever they are are going to connect to. So that will be pretty straightforward. We'll select our foot, tab into edit mode and we'll go to a front view. So what we're going to need to get hold of here is basically this face. So I'm going to grab hold of this face and we will extrude this outwards a little bit like so. So once you've extruded this out, it doesn't need to come out very far, maybe just a little bit further. And then I'm going to um, bevel these edges. So we'll go control B to bevel. And we're going to put just a small bevel on the edges here. It's not going to be very big, just a little bit. So let's say, um, 0 0.008 go as far as 9 0.01 okay and we'll go for two segments that'll just um, give us a slight bevel to that edge all right so this edge here is where the um, pipes are going to connect into um, now Go back to reference image. We've got a couple of other little bits. So we have this small part also that sticks out above on the side there. So again, we'll tab over here into edit mode. And I'm going to go to a um, left side view. We'll grab a loop cut and we'll stick that in here. We'll get another loop cut which will go say around that area there and another one on the right side here face select grab hold of that face E to extrude I'll extrude that out a little bit let's go to the front view I'm going to move that extrusion down slightly so that it's flat. Like so. Okay, now I also want to move these edges back. So I'm going to grab, shift and hold, grab hold of these edges here. I'm going to pull those back into. Or face like so. Okay, that's looking good. Uh, back to reference image. Okay, I want to make these slots that go around the bottom of the foot. So I'm going to go to a front view. Okay. All right, I'm going to start off by hold of these two edges. I'm going to remove those. Same here. Actually, I'll recreate this face first. I'm going to grab hold of these edges. Uh, let's go into vertex mode. I'm going to want to merge these also delete the bottom faces Let's get rid of these to start with okay Let's grab hold of these faces hit F create a new face there 
get rid of these. Again, select all those edges. F, create a new face. Same over here. And F to create a new face. Then we'll grab hold of all these bottom edges. Oh, wait a minute. You also need to do the same at the back here. Remove those faces, edge select. F, okay. Now I've done that. Grab those four, hit F, and got a new face. Okay, so now we have a cleaner geometry around the bottom here that we can begin working on. So I'm going to loop cut. You'll see now the loop cuts aren't going to run all the way around. So instead what we'll do is um, just get our knife tool, control, that will make the knife cut from the centers. Another one, control, and that will put it center to center. I'll do one more. Center to center, like so. Okay. Don't do the same thing again. Uh, actually, I'm going to go into face select. Get rid of these two faces. Edges. Vertices, sorry, to start with. We'll grab those two vertices here and we go to merge at the last and we'll get rid of this vertex as well edge select and we can select these four edges hit F creates a new face we can get our knife again control to go from center to center Edge select, grab that edge, we'll move it over here. Same again. I want this knife cut to be straight. Check out the reference image. We're going to have one, two, three, four holes. Along the front, so let's see, there's two already. So this is our second one. Let's make these holes all about the same size, as well as the gap. will be sized about the same and another and the final one So, okay, now we're just going to um, even up the spacing of these a little bit. And once we've got them all around equal, so that's be exact. 
if you want to measure it out you can do but I'm just eyeballing this For speed then we go to face select grab all those faces and then we hit E to extrude and extrude them inwards like that and there is our recesses now you're going to go all the way around the bottom of the foot do a similar thing going all the way around I'll leave you to work on that yourself we're just going to now um, do this piece here that sticks out so we'll go back to a side view we're going to again need our knife tool Whoops. knife tool here I'm going to go into vertex mode so my knife tool is going to cut across there we're going to come down vertically there's one and the second over here like so Okay, so once we've done that, we can then pull this face outwards. Face select, need to extrude, pull it out a little bit. We're going to bevel the edges, control B. Finally, then we've got two slots in there. From the loop cuts again. One, two, three, and the last one, four. And we'll put in a couple of vertical loop cuts. going to go quite close to the edge so grab the faces again these two faces here E to extrude pull those inwards and again then I want to bevel these edges Just go around and select those. Control B. 0 0.007. Want quite a small bevel. There. Okay. Now on the rear, let's go to the back view. I'm going to grab this face. We'll extrude this out. So this one will also be. A little bit, control B to bevel, and that's done. Let's go back to a reference image. It's all looking pretty good to me now. So, all you need to do is go around and finish off these um, recessed areas around the bottom of the foot there. So, I'll leave you to do that yourself. And um, the other thing that we need to do is create the pipes. So we're going to create those pipes in the next tutorial. That'll be extruding along a path. Um, so for now, I'll just leave you to finish off doing these recesses around the bottom of the feet. And I'll see you in the next part of the tutorial. Where we'll be ready to add the details to this um, stabilization box or whatever part of the foot assembly that is. Before we can then move on to add in the rest of the details to the leg. So as usual, you can download the project file that we're using from the link below this video. So you can open up this project file in Blender yourself. You'll be able to manipulate and play around with this model, follow along with the tutorials. Don't forget to hit the like button if you found this useful. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time.